Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, today I'm talking about uh, ADHD. The title is called ADHD is a leading uh, childhood disorder of any kind in the world because uh, that is true. Um, one of the things that's common with OCD is it's uh, also diagnosed with uh, other diagnoses, meaning if the kid has ADHD, there's a lot of other, it's very common for them to also be diagnosed with something else. Uh, two of the more common ones are like OCD and Tourette's. Uh, and different learning disorders like that. And the reason is because they are, they both have the same networks and sub-networks at play um, in the in the brain. So when brain development goes wrong, um, these same networks and sub-networks that are involved with Tourette's and OCD are also the same exact ones that are involved with ADHD. So that's why they're so commonly linked and uh, that's why they, they share that, that common bond. But like I said, this ADHD, it's, it's absolutely a problem with brain development. Um, for a long time, you know, people thought it maybe was genetics or mutations or things like that. It's it's absolutely has to do with with brain development, and uh, one of the most common misconceptions of ADHD is you outgrow it. Um, I've heard that a lot of times. Whether you know, as a kid they had ADHD, and then you get to uh, as an adult, and then you don't have those same symptoms. So you uh, you can sit better and concentrate or, or whatever it might be as an adult more than a kid so people just assume that you outgrow it but that's absolutely not the case. Hello Kaylee, how are you today? I'm glad you could join. Um, but where was I? So, uh, one second here. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, brain development. Is that what I was talking about? I don't know. Kaylee, you threw me all off. Uh, we'll just start with brain development. But the, the same networks are, are at play with that. And, oh, I was talking about you don't outgrow it. So, what is commonly thought of is you, you outgrow it, you're an adult, and you don't have the same symptoms as a kid, so you just assume you outgrow it. But usually what happens is, you as you get older, it becomes different symptoms. So this, the same underlying uh, overactive subnetworks in your brain are still there, that problem didn't go away. But instead of being able to sit still or concentrate as a kid, maybe as an adult, ADHD uh, looks like anxiety. So a lot of times, uh, that's probably one of the most common things that people are also diagnosed with with ADHD is uh, about 50% of the time, the kids with ADHD grow up to have some kind of anxiety disorder. Because once again, that underlying brain network uh, did not ever get fixed or that underlying root cause was never addressed. Um, so it becomes a, a problem with you know, later on in life, they don't outgrow it, it'll become, you know, like a social anxiety, or actually people with ADHD are, have a 300% uh, more likely of developing a substance substance abuse problem, and 300% uh, are, you're at a 300% increased risk of dementia uh, if you have ADHD as a, as a kid. So, um, one of the most, one of the first windows in if you kind of wanted to prevent this and you know just catch it very early if you're if you're looking at your infant and wondering if they have the potential to grow up like possibly with ADHD the most common thing that I can tell you to look for is their motor milestones so what you're going to look for is how how are they progressing with their motor milestones are they um, sitting up when they should are they rolling over when they should um, are they creeping and then crawling uh, when they should? Are they walking when they should? Um, that is usually the very first window in and to see that brain development is not where it should be. Um, so if they are missing their milestones or they're very late to milestones, that's an absolute indicator uh, that their brain development is not where it needs to be and then something needs to be done to reverse that and the earlier the better. Um, so like I said, it's brain development problem. That does not mean it's a brain damage problem or mutation or anything like that. Brain development is absolutely changeable. Uh, your brain's very, you know, malleable. It's, it's plastic in nature, meaning it's very changeable. So there are a lot of things you can do. Um, one thing that I always check for my patients, uh, I don't believe, uh, off the top of my head, I can't think of a patient I had that had ADHD that did not have something that's called primitive reflexes. So they almost always have primitive reflexes. That's why they are struggling with their brain development. And it's almost as if these primitive reflexes are acting as training wheels to the brain. So uh, you, can't, you can't develop and you can't do these complex things with these training wheels on your brain. And that's essentially what primitive reflexes are. Um, so once you, once you get rid of these primitive reflexes, then you're able to take those steps up and start developing that brain and uh, you know, be on that trajectory that you should be. 
So uh, that's the number one thing we usually check for with kids with ADHD in our office is we, we see which uh, primitive reflexes they have and then get rid of those so that the brain can get to developing the, the way that it should. And then balancing out those networks. So if there's one that's, uh, some of those networks and subnetworks are you know hyperactive and then some are, are not act in, active enough and our object is to balance them out so that the brain can work as one cohesive unit. But that is all I have for you today um, about ADHD. Sorry I had that blunder in the middle of it. I couldn't remember where I was. Um, but I will be back on tomorrow evening, so I hope to get see you guys there. Um, and if you ever have any topics you want me to cover, just let me know. I'd be glad to. Um, and if you know of anyone, any parents of kids with ADHD, please share this with them. Uh, have them give it a watch and see what they think. And otherwise, I will see you guys tomorrow evening.